This week's episode is brought to you by Campaign Refinery, an amazing new email marketing automation tool. Look, in the world of digital marketing, there's a lot to keep track of. We all know this. As much as we're in love with social media and the power of social conversation here at Social Link and on the All About Digital Marketing podcast, we are well aware at just how powerful email marketing can be. Email marketing is not dead. In fact, it's never been more important to help you leverage your presence everywhere else into the one channel that you'll own, regardless of what changes Facebook, Twitter, or any other platform makes in the future. I've known the founder, Travis Ketchum, for years, and he's been a past guest on the podcast, episode 15, if you want to listen to it. I've personally used his other products before, and they've been fantastic. The amount of thought that he's put into each and every one of what he's created has been incredible. I'd highly encourage you to try their free 14-day trial at campaignrefinery.com to see what world-class email marketing automation can do for you and your business. Massive thank you to Travis and Campaign Refinery for their support of the All About Digital Marketing show. Welcome to the All About Digital Marketing podcast. The show all about digital marketing, digital marketing, digital marketing, digital marketing. Brought to you by Social Inc., a digital marketing agency specializing in social media and content marketing for brave brands and forward thinking SMEs. I'm your host, Chris Bruno, and as always, we're here to bring you the most actionable tips, tricks, tools, and insights to help you achieve more when it comes to your digital marketing. Subscribe to the show and be sure to share with a friend if you found something useful or interesting. You can find all the show notes and more information on www.allaboutdigitalmarketing.co.uk. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another experimental episode. Yep, that's right. I'm trying something new again. And there is a reason behind this. Everything that we do is always about experimenting, trying different things to see what resonates with people, to see what works, to see what helps as many people as possible. And today's episode is a little bit different because of the fact that I've chosen a blog that I recently published on my personal website. You can check that out at chrisbruno.co. But as part of a 30-day challenge for myself, we came up with the idea with my co-director at Social Inc. to create and publish a blog post every single day for 30 days. We've ended up doing it for the whole month of July. It's been fantastic. It's been a really eye-opening experience. But there was one episode or one, sorry, one blog in particular that I wanted to try and bring in to be part of this show. And today we're going to be talking about ideation versus execution. I find this battle between ideation and execution fascinating. I've met some truly gifted and creative people who can talk about these amazing and wonderful ideas, yet rarely, if ever, convert anything into action. Vice versa is also true. Those people who are incredibly effective and can simply execute on everything they set their mind to, no matter how creative or not, the idea may in fact be. There's a general rule of thumb. For me, and from what I've seen, execution trumps ideation every time. You may not agree, but the best business ideas, the best possible adverts, the most clever pieces of content mean nothing whilst they're still in somebody's head. At Social Inc., we talk about being launch ready. Not perfect, but launch ready. We try to use Pareto's principle and focus on the 80-20 rule. If we're 80% there, it's ready to launch. Too many people forget. Once something's launched, especially online, there is nothing stopping you from making improvements, changes, edits, or anything else. Ideation fuels execution. From my experience, and especially during this 30-day challenge or any of my other 30-day challenges, ideation can be just that challenging. During this particular challenge, the 30 days of blogging every day, coming up with things to write about can seem daunting, and especially at the beginning. If you stare at a blank piece of paper with 30 dates written down the side, and you need to start filling it all in, 
it becomes a really daunting task. As you start coming up with the first few ideas, though, it seems easier to get going. So the idea would be to try and find the first three ideas as opposed to trying to fill out the whole 30. The challenge itself helps you to cut out the procrastination part. If you've set yourself a 30-day challenge to blog every day like this particular challenge, you're simply going to get started because it's exciting. You're starting something new. The challenge itself helps you to cut out that procrastination. By the time you get to day four or day five, you've probably actually started to realize you're picking up ideas and you've started storing them in your ideas bank already. For me, I use notes on my iPhone. If I'm listening to a podcast and something stands out, I'll jot it down in notes. If there's a quote in a book I'm reading, I'll quickly add it to notes. All of these things get added. And then when I have some downtime, I'll go through my notes. I'll take the time to read and digest them. And invariably, when I do this, something in there, something in one of those notes will spark an idea for a blog or an article that I want to create. Execution fuels ideation. Yeah, that's right. It's all just a self-fulfilling prophecy. The circle of content creation, or anything else for that fact. You need the ideas to start executing. And as you start executing, you'll have more ideas. Then those new ideas need executing. And so on and so forth. It snowballs. I talk a lot about the idea of improving 1% each day. The same is true for this process. When we first start talking to our clients, especially in a coaching capacity, I'll often ask them what kind of stimuli they currently have in their lives. Do they read? Do they listen to podcasts? Do they watch documentaries? Whatever it is that they do, that initial input works to stimulate the ideas machine. One example recently was someone that loved golf. So we used that as a way to get that idea stimulation process started. For example, what parts of the technique in golf are applicable to what you do as a business? Remember, inspiration comes in many forms. Before you know it, you're finding ideas to execute from all walks of life. Mine have even come to me whilst being face down on an osteopath's table whilst getting my bad shoulder treated recently. All it took was for her to say something about the way that she ran her business. That triggered an idea. That actually became a piece of content. Ideation versus execution. You see, for me, the simple truth is, it's not ideation versus execution that matters. It's ideation and execution that matters. Regardless what industry, business, sector, niche, size, or anything else in your life, personal or professional, you need ideas to be able to execute on. And executing generates more ideas. I've used this method for my health, for my exercise, to read more, to learn more, to write more, to create more, to build my business, pretty much for everything. It's that powerful. To quote Stephen King, amateurs sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. It's time to get up and go to work. No matter what it is that you're trying to accomplish, get started. The ideas and the execution both require your input. So, what would you say you struggle with? Ideation? Execution? Both? Let me know on social media. You can find us on all the major channels as at all about Digmar, that's D I G M A R at the end. And I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to chat more about this with you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, it's something slightly different. But let us know. You can find us again on all the social channels. And we would love to, to find out what you think of some of these experiments that we're running. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe and 
I hope you enjoy the show. The All About Digital Marketing podcast is brought to you by Social Inc., a distributed digital marketing agency specialized in delivering results through online campaigns. Whether it's content marketing, social media marketing, online advertising, or web design, we've got you covered from strategy through to delivery. If you're struggling with your digital marketing, get in touch today by simply visiting www.socialinc.com.